Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Emmanuel Arts. This is your crafty host Priyanka. Today I'm really excited to show you this new craft tool that has joined my craft room. This is a yo-yo maker by Clover. Yo-yos are a very old form of quilting uh, and they are really fun to make. What Clover's yo-yo maker does is it makes it very easy for us to make quick yo-yos. I am not a quilter but today I am going to make a toy from this yo-yo. So let's look how to make the toy. All the materials will be in the description below. So now let's jump into the tutorial and let our creativity flow. To begin with the tutorial the first step is to take a piece of fabric. I am using a green printed fabric and then cut out a 5.5 inch by 5.5 inch square. Uh, so I have already pre-cut the square right here and then take your yo-yo maker so this yo-yo maker is the extra large yo-yo maker uh, there are a lot of different sizes that come uh, in the clovers yo-yo maker i'm using the extra large one place your fabric upside down so the wrong side should be facing up and make sure there is slack on all four sides coming out and then take the front part of the tool and then press it down make sure you hear the yo-yo maker snap into the grooves next take a pair of scissors and cut off the excess um, fabric leaving a little bit on the edge so just take up just cut off from here leaving a little bit of edge i always like to follow the pattern of the tool so I am going in a circle instead of just cutting it uh, a rough edge of a square. So this is how it looks on the back and on the front. Next take a needle and thread. I have already threaded um, my uh, I've threaded the needle and I'm going to tie a knot at the end. Now flip the tool upside down and start and come up from the front side into one of the grooves and then go down from the other side of the groove. Then come up onto the next group and then go back down into the group. Make sure that you are always passing the thread into the groove and none of it, none of the thread is on top of the plastic of the tool. Also on the back side when you are um, threading the, uh, when you are passing the thread make sure you are folding the cloth over the over the hole that's there and then pr pass it through this helps in locking the thread uh, locking the extra fabric that's around I've gone ahead and stitched through all the grooves of the tool and on the other side I have only a little bit of thread left over so make sure that you have enough thread to go through all the grooves in one, with one thread because adding the adding another thread means not which can uh, which will make the next step uh, a little difficult to do also uh, with this tool, uh, it the Clover gives an amazing set of instructions. So refer to those instructions, and you will really be able to um, make amazing yo-yos in a very quick time. So that's about the Clover tool. Uh, now the next step is to uh, press the press the back panel from the hole in the front so that it removes the panel with the cloth just open up the flaps and remove the panel out of the cloth fabric start 
start pulling the thread so so it gathers the uh, fabric over and then just make sure that you push your thumb inside and bring the correct side up and always make sure that you are adjusting the pleats that forms on the uu and keep pulling pull it slowly so that you can keep adjusting the pleat as and when necessary and make sure you pull it really snug so the center the the center is really small and not too large as you can see my center is really small and all my pleats are um per, not perfect but they look uh, even to each exactly similar to each other so after you have you are happy with the pleats just take your needle and thread and pass through the through all the pleats and come back out from where the thread is coming out so i'm going to go ahead before stitching the body for the caterpillar we will make the tail and the face for it so for the tail take a piece of felt and cut out a circle from it the circle should be a little bigger than the yoyo -yo. then cut out a triangle from the circle and make it into a cone shape take needle and embroidery thread i've taken three strands of embroidery thread and then bring out the needle from the center of the cone and stitch down. bring out the embroidery thread from the center of the cone and then stitch down the open end to stitch the open end make small stitches on each side of the pleat so i'm going to go ahead and finish stitching the whole pleat and then come back with the next step ahead and stitch the ends the next step is to cut out a circle that is the exact size of the cone then i'm going to do the blanket stitch around to do the blanket stitch bring the needle towards you and insert it into the felt then take the thread underneath the needle and bring out the needle from the other side this makes the first blanket stitch now again bring the needle towards you towards yourself and insert it into the felt then take the thread underneath the needle and bring the needle out from the other side keep on doing the blanket stitch till you are done 3 quarters of the circle i have gone ahead and done blanket stitch on 3 quarters of the circle After this take some polyfill and stuff it inside. We do not need too much, just a very little of it. So now we have enough of polyfill stuffed in it. So we will continue doing the blanket stitch and close the circle. go ahead and complete the blanket stitch and close the circle and come back so this is how the tail looks like after completing the blanket stitch and stuffing it now the next step is to make the face for the face i have cut out two circles and they are the same size as the one that i cut out for the tail initially that means it's a little bit big little bit bigger than the yo yo now i have gone ahead and made two antlers from fuzzy sticks and with the help of my glue gun i'm going to stick it onto one part of the face
this is how it looks like i'm going to let it dry and come back with the next step for the face once it is dry i'm going to start doing blanket stitch around the circle like we did for the tail again i'm going to do three quarters of the circle and then add the polyfill i've gone ahead and sewn the blanket stitch on three quarters of the circle now i'm going to take the polyfill and fill the face with the stuffing I want to keep the uh, face flat so I'm not adding too much stuffing just a little bit and now I'm going to continue doing the blanket stitch and complete the circle. gone ahead and completed the circle and closed it with the blanket stitch on the other side of the face i added the details like googly eyes and lips with felt and also gave it a little bit of fringe with dark green felt you can decorate your caterpillar face any how you feel and how you like it to start attaching the tail body and head i have already gone ahead and taken uh, embroidery floss onto my needle and uh, I have taken six strands. I have made a knot and passed the thread through the side of the tail and came out from the center of the tail and then went back through the tail and started adding all the yo-yos. So I am going through the center of the yo-yo. I'm going to take my next color and I have arranged my colors in a pattern. If you have the same fabric, you don't have to worry about it, but I have used different pattern fabric so I've arranged it in a pattern so I'm going to go through the center of it center of the yo-yo and come out from the other side and start placing it in front of the previous one so I'm just keep going to keep on doing that Now I am adding my final yo-yo onto the body, uh, onto the thread, and I have all I have my tail and all my uh, yo-yos onto the thread. Now I'm going to take the face and start attaching it. So I'm going to bring it out from the lips, just right above the lips, and pull it out completely. then make a really small stitch which is absolutely invisible so go just right next to the place where we came out and then come out from the side of the face So this now helps us attach the face. Now just make a few knots onto the edge, really small knots which cannot be seen. Make one knot here and then go through the a blanket stitch a couple of times and then make a knot a little bit further. and then weave in the excess thread. So I have weaved in enough thread, so I'm going to snip off the extra thread with a pair of scissors. And also snip off the knot, the thread that's hanging out here where we made the knot, really close to the knot.
and our yo-yo caterpillar is complete. So we have completed the tutorial for today and here's our yo-yo caterpillar. And it's super cute and super easy to make and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, follow me on my social media. All the links for my social media will be in the description below and do subscribe to my channel for more fun and crafty DIY tutorials. If you want to watch more tutorials on the Clover Yo-Yo Makers, please leave me a comment below and I will definitely try to bring more projects with the Yo-Yo Maker. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day or night wherever you are. Thank you so much.